How to create a gold dust animation effect in DaVinci Resolve 18.0.2. Inside your project edit window, go to effects. Underneath toolbox, select effects and go to add a fusion composition filter to your timeline. Using the selection mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A, click and drag from the end of your fusion composition clip to adjust the duration if you wish, with the time difference showing at the top inside the box that appears alongside your mouse cursor and with the total duration appearing underneath this. Right click on your fusion composition clip and go to open in fusion page. Inside your fusion nodes panel, hold and shift and press space. Use the search box at the bottom of your select tool window to find the ellipse tool. Select this and go to click on add. As you are editing in your fusion interface, Select either the left or right view nodes underneath the relevant tool to see a preview of your effect above your fusion timeline. With this new ellipse node selected, under inspector and controls, to add some transparency to this shape, we will decrease level from 1 to 0.65. And to add feather to the edges of this circle, we will increase soft edge to 0.035. Go to add a background tool in your node section. Click on the grey box to the right of ellipse 1 and drag your mouse cursor to the blue arrow which appears alongside background 1 to make a connection. We will use this new background tool to add colour to our dust particles. Under inspector for background, double click on the colour box and enter the following hexadecimal code into the HTML box hash C9971A to apply a gold colour shade. Click OK. Reduce alpha to 0.5 to apply more transparency to our dust particle so that we can see the background more in the final animated video. With background 1 still selected, hold in shift and press space and go to add a soft glow tool which should be automatically connected via the yellow arrow to background 1. With this new tool selected, under inspector and controls, decrease gain to 1 to reduce the intensity of the golden glow and to maintain minor transparency for each of the dust particles. With soft glow 1 still selected, hold in shift and press space and go to add a light rays tool. Deselect light rays 1 by clicking anywhere on the empty nodes grid. Hold in shift and press space and go to add P emitter which we will use to create duplicates of this golden dust particle and have these appear on random sections of our canvas. With this new tool selected, go to Inspector, select Style, and change style from Point to Bitmap. A new yellow arrow should appear alongside your P-Emitter 1 node, which will enable you to connect the Light Rays node. Return to Inspector, and underneath Controls, reduce Number to 0.69, so that we don't have too many particles appearing on screen. Increment Lifespan to 150, to increase the amount of time that each gold dust particle remains on screen. Return to Style, select Size Controls, increase the size of your ellipse particles to 0.12. To have the ellipse particles appear in various sizes, both bigger and smaller than that of their original state set in the Ellipse tool, increase size variance slightly to 0.3. Open up Fade Controls, to have the particles blend in and out over long periods of their lifespan, we will increase fade in to 0.45, so that the first 45% of the particle's lifespan will involve the gold dust particle fading in on screen. Change out to 0.55, so that each of the particles are only fully opaque for 10% of their lifespan, before fading out in the same amount of time it takes to fade in. Select region, to have the particles appear in random locations on the whole canvas, change region from sphere to all. With P-emitter 1 still selected, hold in shift and press space and go to add P-turbulence. To have the particles that appear closer to the screen, shift around gently, decrease X, Y and Z strength values to 0.03. Deselect P-turbulence, hold in shift and press space and go to add a P-merge tool. 
which we will use to combine the particles closer to the screen and those in the background. Connect P-Turbulence 1 to the green foreground arrow of P-Merge 1. Now to create the smaller particles that float around in the background. Deselect P-Merge 1, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a new Ellipse tool. With Ellipse 2 selected, under Inspector, increase Soft Edge to 0 0.05. Go to add a Background tool from the Nodes options. Connect Ellipse 2 to Background 2. With Background 2 selected, under Inspector and Color, double click on the color box. And go to add a more vibrant yellow color, which will make the background particles stand out more behind the bigger ones that will appear closer to the screen. Enter the hexadecimal code hash CABC29. Click OK. With background 2 selected, hold in Shift and press space. And go to add a glow tool. Increase Glow to 0 0.9. Select P Emitter 1. Hold in Ctrl and C to copy. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you're a Mac user. Deselect this tool and hold in Ctrl and press V to paste. Connect Glow 1 to the Duplicate P Emitter 1 tool. With the Duplicate P Emitter tool selected, under Inspector and Controls, increase Number to 30. Decrease lifespan to 25, so that these fade in and out quicker than the bigger particles that we previously created. Select Style. To significantly reduce the size of the ellipse shapes, decrease size to 0 0.002. And to ensure that there is less variation in the size of the particles that appear in the background, decrease size variance to 0 0.02. To have the background particles remain on screen in their full opaque state for slightly longer durations, decrease fade in to 0.4 and increase fade out to 0.6. Select the original P Turbulence tool, holding Ctrl and press C to copy, deselect the node and holding Ctrl and press V to paste. Connect your duplicate P Emitter 1 node to this new tool. This should apply similar X, Y and Z strengths to the movement effects of the background particles as we applied to the bigger ones previously. Connect P Turbulence 1 to the background yellow arrow of P Merge 1. Select P Merge 1. Hold in Shift and press Space. To have the particles processed by DaVinci Resolve, go to insert a P Render tool. Now to apply the dark gold animated colour shades that appear in the background around our particles. Disconnect P Render 1, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a Merge tool. Connect P Render 1 to the green foreground arrow of Merge 1, and connect Merge 1 to Media Out 1. Deselect your nodes, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a Fast Noise tool. With Fast Noise still selected, under Inspector and Noise, increase Detail to 10 to make the edges of the gold and black mix more significant. And to ensure that the gold shade blends into the dark background more, decrease Contrast to 0.4. To reduce the intensity of the gold background, decrease Brightness to minus 0.75. And to expand the size of your golden background shade, so that we don't see too many cloud shapes appearing, Decrease Scale to 0 0.63. And to add a gentle animation to this fast noise effect, increase Seath Rate slightly to 0 0.025. Select Color. Choose Gradient next to Type. The first gradient node should be set at position 0, 0.0 and have a black shade applied. Select the second node which appears on the far right side, underneath the white shade at position 1.0. Double click on the white box which appears below this and apply the following colour shade hash 8F490F. Click OK. With Fast Noise still selected, hold in Shift and press Space and go to add a Soft Glow tool. With this new tool selected, increase Threshold slightly to 0.05 to make the two gradient colours stand out more from one another and to reduce the intensity slightly so that the gold dust particles remain clear on screen, 
Reduce gain from 2 to 0 0.5. Connect soft glow 2 to the yellow background arrow of merge 1. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video is useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.